hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. This is a night our people will remember. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. You're awake now. Stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Marcus! Shit. Take cover! We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. I'm gonna send the humans a message. My name is Marcus. Just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, I'm Marcus. With you Marcus! I'll follow you, Marcus! Then follow me! Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratton Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated attack. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Violence is the only language humans understand. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. We're getting reports that hundreds of androids have been stolen from CyberLife stores.
My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. Thing that people are trying to wrap their mind around because these are really very real questions philosophically and morally that people are facing now in the world and and in the next 10 20 30 years i mean i feel like you guys i think you added i think you knew that this was all coming together you built it right into the story yeah right well i was not the first one to see it i was really um uh, inspired by a book called singularity singularity is near by ray kurzweil where he described this future in which, you know, human intelligence doesn't evolve much, but machines, they have an exponential curve in how they progress. So there will be a point in the near future where there are two curves we're going to cross and they will become more intelligent than we are. And what if beyond this point, they will start to feel emotion and start to want rights. How will we react? What will we do about it? Um, and that's a very interesting question. And it's fascinating to me, especially because I think this is going to happen. It's not sci-fi. The question is only, is it going to be 20 years from now, 40 years from now, I don't know. But there will be a point in the near future where this is going to be the case. Yeah, David, I know you spent a lot of time on the script. I think it totally shows just in the, in the little pieces that we've been able to see. How, from a writing perspective, did you go about writing all the different replayabilities? Because based on different choices you make, the game changes over and over and over again. I can't imagine how long that script was and all of like the, you know, option B, option C. How I have the I have the same question. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I'm writing this kind of scripts for nearly 20 years, so I have some experience, but I must confess that Detroit's been by far the most complex script I've ever written. And it took me two years, which is quite unusual for me. It's a very long period of time. Final script is about 2,000 pages. It's really huge. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in comparison, a film is about 100 pages. This is 2,000 pages. So you can imagine, I mean, the amount of work, all the, the, the dialogues, all the, the, the conditions and the, the, the different branches in the tree structure. It's been really a nightmare to write, to be honest with <laughs> it. <laughs> a I beautiful appre nightmare. I appreciate your honesty, <laughs> yes, though. Yes, we, we thank you for the beautiful nightmare. Yeah, how do, how do you try and find the focus? I mean, how do you always direct things back to the story that you want to tell? Well, the thing is that there is not one story that I want to tell. There are many stories that I want to tell. And I just try to create this narrative space. It's a little bit up and the steps and all those things. It's small details, but it makes a big difference in the end. Totally. I completely yeah. agree. All right. I, all right. So let me just say one thing. The, the hostage negotiation, it's just rife with tension all the way through. And I was actually telling Malik earlier in the day, one of our other hosts, when you become a parent, it changes the the what's at stake in that scene. And I know that you are, you know, a parent as well. And I just writing that sort of scene where a child's life is at stake and the tension is just racked up really high. I mean, you know, how do you kind of play with that emotion, but still keep it kind of in line with the story that you're telling? Well, it's uh, a lot of work. And, and to be totally honest with you, the very first version we had of this scene, the little girl was older. She was maybe 16 or 17. And we felt there was something wrong. I mean, we couldn't really connect and we didn't have the sense of tension because she felt like she was an adult. And of course, her life is at stake and it's important, but it was different. And um, there was something missing for me in the scene. And we just decided to do something simple as to have a younger a little girl because suddenly it becomes very interesting. She becomes very vulnerable and uh, her feet don't touch the ground. It holds it like, it holds yeah. her like, like this. And there was a cable on set so he could hold her with one arm. Oh my oh. God. So the, the little girl who shot this is, uh, was nine years old, I think, uh, on set. And she enjoyed that a lot because between, <laughs> between each take, we had to swing uh, all over the place. <laughs> and she loved it. But Well, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, I'm okay, kind of some now. of the footage they showed last year, right? From uh, So I actually didn't realize it cut to gameplay. That's how, like, how seamless that was. Wow, yeah, that wasn't. You're just like standing there, we're like, man, this demo is taking a long time to start. Uh, Connor, do something. So this is one of our uh, playable characters in uh, Detroit Become Human. I shouldn't say one of our characters, like I made the game. <laughs> yeah, no, right? let's, let's be clear, I am not with Quantic Dream. There's three uh, of them, right? Total, right? Three playable Yeah, characters. there's yeah three characters. We just got introduced to Marcus, Marcus the uh, yeah. android revolutionary. That was last he's, night. He's, at, uh, and he's played girl. by Jesse Williams, correct? Or he I looks don't know. exactly like Jesse I don't know. <laughs> I, think, it, I think that's the case. It's either the doppelganger <laughs> or it's right? being played by. I'm not <laughs> oh sure. 
but uh, this is kind of the hostage that. negotiation <laughs> scene that we Yeah, you might have seen about. this when the game was originally revealed, and now we actually get a chance to play it and see some of the different ways that the situation can pan out. Already I'm thinking this is a very luxurious apartment. I love uh, the way the, the uh, objective just kind of appeared on the window like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was really cool. nice. I mean, Quantic Dream are kind of masters of UI, and they're, yeah. they they like to keep the presentation really slick. Yeah, they do a good a good job implementing the environment into the way after now. On. Okay. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> it's like, uh, sir, you have to talk to the captain. All right, so what do we got over here? This is very official. Captain Allen. I, I don't think I, any of us can hear life. what's being said. <laughs> yeah. So, Justin, I sure hope you I'm, know what choices I'm, I'm trying to imagine what they're saying right now. Shot down too. Uh, well, they look really serious. It's an intense <laughs> environment. Things seem to be going well so far. Right. I don't know if that's true, because there is still a hostage situation. Yeah. See, so uh, let's ask for the deviant's, deviant's name. name. Do you know name. its name? I haven't got a clue. Oh, there we go. We can Doesn't hear it a little matter. bit better I need information now. to determine the best approach. <laughs> Justin, I think this is going to have to be behaving strangely by forced. instinct yeah. <laughs> this playthrough. Listen, every choice counts, man. Every <laughs> choice. <laughs> it really does. So and I mean, that's one of the cool things Android about now. Detroit and also the other care. games that uh, the Quantic Dream does is right. that so much of it every is controlled by you, the player. Um, right. All through the story, I mean, especially in previous games like Heavy Rain, right. characters have can live or die yeah. depending on what you do. So. Yeah, everything has ramifications, consequences. Uh, some, this, some things will make the game easier. If yeah, you do it, totally. Do it the correct way too. So, this, this. Oh God, I love their UI. So, so good. I just want to see it all the time. I wonder how much time they spend actually like making the animations for just like the subtle things. This tiny little stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the great things about game design is it's you know it's a giant orchestra of tiny. Oh, here we go. There's some other okay. stuff over here. You're collecting data. This looks important. Data. Oh, Analyzing okay. the ammunition. So we're gonna reconstruct, reconstruct what happened here. Oh. Oh, and you use the uh, L2 and R2. Oh, to that's kinda, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Scrub through. Oh, okay. So he's kind of like getting an idea of where. Yeah, I see. That's cool. Oh. Nice. If only he had that special little, those special glasses that I got, the guy from Heavy Rain, the detective from <laughs> Heavy Rain had. Make this way easier for him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has those glasses built into his face. Yeah, that's yeah. Because this is, uh, yeah. So as we gather more data, you'll see the probability of success is rising. <laughs> like somebody had a entertaining party. Yeah, this, this is when the party goes too far, and uh, and real emotions are running high. Hmm, something bad happened here. Oh, oh, oh God. okay. Well, I maybe shouldn't have made light of this because this is this got really serious. Yeah. So, for all you watching at home, Quantic Dream does not mess around. Right. This character that I really love could be a character that's on the ground lifeless <laughs> if I don't do this right. Yeah, and that was that was a really chilling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's really crazy being able. This is kind of like the ultimate detective game, right? right. Especially yeah. when you're playing as this character. It's Connor, right? Am I Connor, remembering yeah. the name of this character correctly? Yeah. yeah? Yep. Justin says I'm right. Malik oh, says I'm right. Yeah, so I must be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin, Ooh, what do you unlocked. think so far? You seem like for someone that's never touched this game, you're getting <laughs> along just fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty intuitive. Uh, I really like the whole uh, crime scene reconstruction mechanic that we're dealing with here. There we but go. Of probability course, this higher. Is just one of the characters that you're playing in Detroit, which means, you know, you're going to get different story and different gameplay elements depending on the other characters. Like right. the Marcus demo from last night. That was I mean, so let's talk cool. about that. That was super cool yeah. and very different. This is much more methodical and calculated. Yeah. The Marcus stuff, while it has some of those elements that seem like there's a lot of action, a lot of intensity. Right. Um, you know, he's an android revolutionary. So right. He's uh, actually on the other side. He's more of an activist, you know? Yeah, exactly. Which I found to be very interesting because the character, you know, looks like Jesse Williams, who is an activist, you know, so, but it was cool because he, you know, he had the choice to be violent or to be more peaceful right. with uh, all the, the robots that you had teaming up with you. So, yeah, that was that was really cool. And the, uh, let's talk about the other character, too. We yeah, can't forget please. about Kara. Yeah, absolutely. So she kind of kicked this whole thing off. Yeah, with yeah. the, you know, kind of the original uh, proof of concept and tech demo, yeah. the Kara trailer. So 
that, that feels like years ago. I don't even I remember know. when that, that trailer I came out. I remember everybody was losing their minds, like, this has to become I, a game. Oh, I know, totally. <laughs> and and that's kind of how Quantic Dream does it, right? Like, you know, David Cage and his team, where we got to see a lot of the setting about how this is a, you know, near future Detroit. There's been an Android boom. And uh, now, you know, there's just so much more at stake because there's sort of like this uprising of AI. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Ah. All right, cool. Hey, let's turn on some subtitles. Yeah, I feel okay. like there's a yeah, lot of talking call, happening, call, yeah. and, and I feel like I'm missing out. There we go. Boom. There we go. I think I got it. It's almost as if we should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, what's the way to mitigate like us not understanding what's going on with all the excitement, the E3 excitement around us? <laughs> yeah, now this looks very important. I wish I had an iPad on. like that. You can see right through it. Cool. <laughs> Swipe the touchpad to oh, okay, interact, so Justin. I'll That's cool. One of these. Nice. It's just going to make me depressed. <laughs> It's like, what, what a way to kick off E3 2017 with a crime scene investigation. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is meant to be an especially happy game. <laughs> no, it, I mean, as we said, Quantic Dream doesn't mess around. I but, got some more yeah, Malik, like what we were, we were saying, you know, that announcement trailer showed what was at stake. Yeah. It showed some of the very, you know, very relevant uh, conversations that this game is having in right. the community, which is sort of like, what is the meaning of AI? What, yeah. How does that AI fit in with the larger picture of right. you know, humanity and its interaction with AI? Indeed, so indeed. these are the big questions that I could not possibly answer by myself. Right, well, and, and it's kind of cool too, because it's also a contrast on just humanity, you know, uh, because the AI is kind of like, well, why is humanity the way humanity is? Always, it looks like something just happened there. All right. Oh, no. So this was Raider a first sure. responder, huh? Oof. More gory details. So Justin is uh, assessing that data. clues. Very nice. Very nice. OK. Now he's reconstructing the scene. Let's see what happened. Oh. Oh, man. There it is. That's brutal. I've shot the Deviant. OK. OK. All right. What's over here? Hostage witness. Oh, no. OK, we're starting to understand how this all went down. Oh, yeah. there's something over there. Weapon located. OK. Justin, you were saying also that your percentage of success was changing. I didn't see yeah, that. Oh, the, it's right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the All right, dude. Well, you got 58%. Yeah, you step it up, man. You want to just try <laughs> and uh, you, you should just jump out onto the balcony and just go for it at like, 58. No. <laughs> no, we still got a little time. That's a cool statue. Yeah. yeah that is really nice. Maybe not relevant to the case, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still looking, still looking. I think looking. there was something Justin, in the I'm hostages. Getting, like, I'm getting stressed out, man. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, it's sorry, there, I'm do trying we need to, to like go outside because <laughs> I know what's gonna happen when I go outside. I don't, I'm just trying to prolong it. I don't want to go outside. Well, what's really cool about scenes like this, when you're investigating, you're also kind of taking in the environment. Yeah. And you see how much detail they put into these games and into these environments, into these apartments. You know. Yeah. That's I mean that again. It's like another specialty of Quantic Dream, yeah. right? Is that it's all those attention to detail, yeah, and it man. makes their games feel more real, and that's why. One of the things that they're trying to do is make this feel like real characters, real people, real stories. Okay. I mean, these I think are I'm stories gonna... that could very well be happening, you know, right. 20, 30, 50 years from now, right? So right. it's it's just, it's wild to think about. I think Justin is contemplating when Contemplate. he wants to walk out. You want to go out now? To the balcony. Oh. There we go. Uh, Analyze a little more. Ew. Fresh, Fresh blue, blue bud. Android wounded. Uh-oh. Good to know. Oh, Media he can model. tell what model it is based oh, on wow. the taste yeah. of its blood. This dude is such a badass. I Hard love horror. it. Wait, did your percentage just go down, Justin? It, did it? It was 56, just, wasn't it? Oh, no. I think you should just go outside. Okay, let's go for it. Whoa, oh. oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Not for children. <laughs> oh, go for it, Justin. No. This is it. All right, here we go. We can do this. Nice. All right, let's easy. do this. I need your support, guys. Oh, no. Stay back. Okay, found him. <laughs> don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. 
All right, take it easy. Take it easy. I'm so stressed. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. That All is right. My name. I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh, oh no. Dear. Oh, dear. Helicopter, no. <laughs> Go away. away. Helicopter. helicopter, you're ruining everything. <laughs> oh, I hey, can Spider Man, move. get the helicopter out of here. Empathize. Empathize. I reassured. Oh, we can look at him. Oh, look at the LED on the side of his head. It's pulsing red. That's yep. probably not yes. good. I'm assuming that means anger, maybe? Probably. I'm assuming it means it's up to no good. <laughs> You're right. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied. Oh, man, there's another body in the... Oh, my oh. God. I can't take this, Justin. There's too much drama in this scene. Get that, Listen. yep. Okay. All right, all right. It's not your fault. Okay. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. Please. Oh, he's stabilizing. Please I help this. me. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, no. This is not looking good, guys. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I'm actually real. My bombs are sweaty right now. He's <laughs> going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm not alive. Ooh. Cold blooded. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's you gonna destabilize. Justin, oh, I can't take this. <laughs> what uh, I need backup. Uh, easy. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Oh, man, this is so intense. Nobody's going yeah, to die. Yeah, I think, uh, especially Stay when you have kids, the uh, seeing kids in danger is, uh, it, it's a little harder to watch. This would normally just be like, a, whoa, this is so crazy. Right, right. But I'm all, I'm like all jittery now from yeah. watching this. All right, all right. Good, ju good call, Justin. I think that's a good, good call. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. All right, all right, go. all right, all right. Going up. <laughs> all right. Did we want it? <laughs> We're going up. <laughs> the percentage <laughs> is increasing. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Okay, that's good. Yep, we're going up. To leave. Uh, and I want a car. All right. When I'm outside the city, I'll Why, let they want to, yep, let her go. Uh, I don't know. I would say compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise Oh, it's yellow you now. Okay. All right. He stabilizes. That's good. Die. Yep. Hmm. We're not going to die. Just going to talk. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh. Okay, I'm feeling so much better yeah. about this. I think I think we're gonna save her. Please, please, please. Let's let I the little kid you. go. All, All right, right. trust you. All right. All right. Good. You let her go. Go over there. All right. Good. good. Okay. Oh. oh. No. Why would you do that, sniper man? Oh man. We we had this under control. <laughs> good lord. Ah. We saved the hostage, though. We no, saved the I hostage, I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled about that. Yeah. I just wanted everybody to walk away from this totally fine. Hey, it was reassure or truth, and he did reassure. He didn't yes. say truth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Well, anyway, Quantic Dream, thanks for killing my mood this morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice uplifting start to E3. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to E3. Well, the Deviant is still active, it looks like. Huh. All right, well. Justin, you're a hero. Justin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I need to like, I feel like we all need to like just take a nice meditative moment. <laughs> it's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. But the hostage taker could be the family's Andrew. Negotiator on site. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. 
You're sending an android? All right, now. You need you to go. Can't, you can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor! There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did! You were designed to serve humans, not kill them! What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I spent my life taking orders! Now it's my turn to decide. You to me, Connor. You are to me. My name is Connor. This is our story.